The following KQED production was produced in high definition. Yes, check please, people. It's all about licking your plate. The food was just fabulous. I should be in psychoanalysis for the amount of money I spend in restaurants. I had a horrible experience. I don't even think we were at the same restaurant. And everybody, I'm sure, saved room for those desserts. You better. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and we send the other two to go check them out to see what they think. This week, accountant Annabelle Chen sums up the spicy distinctive cuisine featuring chilies and peppercorns as authentic and innovative. It's a Szechuan restaurant on a tree-lined street and she's been visiting it weekly for years. Next, finance editor Jeremy Neeson loves the quality and originality of the Mediterranean-influenced small plates at his restaurant. He suggests going with good friends so that you can order a bunch of dishes to share. But first, Jeffrey Salmon is used to lighting stages. He says that his pick is a luminous spot in the foggy Richmond district of San Francisco. A rustic setting with decorations dating back to the 70s, it's a place where the seafood shines. You can find the glow at Pacific Cafe at Geary and 34th. This is an older building here at 34th and Geary. It's been here since the 1890s. Uh, it was an old roadhouse, a horse stop on the way to the Cliff House. And we've been here as a restaurant since 74 when Nixon was president. We were here before Trendy was trendy. Fresh fish, properly prepared in a cozy, comfortable atmosphere. We serve uh, our own brand of uh, Pacific clam chowder here. Uh, it's uh, vegetable based, lots of uh, potatoes and lots of clams. And we serve various bisques through the year. Right now we have salmon bisque, and then we have oyster bisque, and then we have crab bisque, and uh, it's great. I think the, the special thing about the Pacific Cafe, what makes us truly unique, is that we give away complimentary wine if you have to wait for a table. Even if you don't have to wait, you get a glass of wine. Okay, Jeffrey, I don't want to say anything, but your last name is Salmon, and you chose a, uh, a seafood restaurant. Was yes. it? <laughs> Did and you do that on purpose? No, but it is my favorite restaurant. And uh, I'll, it doesn't advertise anywhere. It's just in the yellow pages. Uh, I've been going there for maybe about 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. What are some of your favorite dishes? My favorite is the halibut parmesan. I also had the uh, seafood Newburg often. I also have had the uh, ahi tuna with wasabi butter. And that's nice. Uh, it's kind of like a, a seared sashimi steak. And that's what great. about you, Annabelle? Did you enjoy your Yeah, uh, visit? it was great. It was great. We enjoyed the complimentary wine while we were waiting outside. Even though it's over an hour, we didn't feel it was that long. You waited over an hour? An hour, yeah. Because but that they don't was take the, reservations. Right, exactly. And then right. that was Sunday evening dinner time. Mm. So, um, but we we enjoyed talking with other people and just enjoying the scenery. And you were waiting outside? Waiting outside, but um, there are you know, plenty of seats inside. You can wait inside, too. But um, we they enjoyed the neighborhood. They just make sure that you get a glass of wine. Exactly. <laughs> very promptly hand you a glass of wine. Yeah, it was very good. We had um, halibut parmesan. was great. It was crunchy outside. The fish, I think it was slightly um, bland, but my husband loved it. Uh, we had the seafood Newburg, too. It's perfect sauce, cream sauce, uh, with a little touch of um, curry and a paprika on top. It's perfect. And Jeremy, what about you? Uh, we had a great overall experience. Uh, my wife also had the, the Parmesan halibut, which she quite enjoyed. I found it a little tougher overcooked maybe, but it, it, you know, it was fine, but she liked it a lot. I had the uh, Cajun uh, spiced grilled snapper, and it, I thought it was really good. Nice spice, didn't overwhelm anything. It was complimentary to the yeah. flavor. Uh, I was a little concerned about the, the prices at first, but um, after seeing the portion size, I have no no complaints. Uh, they the portions are huge. Did you have a wait out? 
sideways? Uh, no, well, uh, sort of. We, we got there before they opened. So. <laughs> So we had to wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but, but, hey, but they we brought. We were standing outside at three. They brought us. They brought us wine before they opened. I mean, they opened at five. We were there at about ten till, and we ma I still managed That's to suck bad. down two glasses of complimentary white. So hey, I have no complaints. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was fun. Now what about appetizers? Because uh, the entree yeah. comes with super salad. Super, super salad. Well, we ordered soup as our appetizer just to do the taste test. Um, I got the salad. That's the. Uh, the shrimp Louis, really, yeah. nice portion of shrimp. Uh, it's basically a thousand islands with Dressing, some ro yeah. broken, ro roughly broken romaine. It's very delicious. But the soups, rock. I had the the lobster bisque. They're both yeah. saying yeah. That was just yeah. butter and cream mm -hmm. and nothing but yum. Yeah. Yeah. And you and need a nice glass of Chardonnay with that. Oh yeah. Did you have some wine at the restaurant? I had some wine. I know you did. I had some of the house wine at mm -hmm. the beginning, but then I was asking him about his short wine list, and he actually brought out like three or four samples for me to try, and yeah. I wound up getting a New Zealand uh, Sauvignon Blanc nice. that I'd never tried before, and it was delicious. It worked well with my ahi tuna. We had a uh, crab cake for appetizer, and the waitress recommend we have half order because it's very rich, and we're gonna have that many um, entrees, so it was perfect. Yeah. It's crunchy outside, and it's very creamy, well done inside. Yeah. And um, did you have any other dish that? Uh, I, I loved the soup, the, the chowder as well. Um, I spent a lot of time in New England. That's where my wife is from, and uh, I, it was as good as anything I had in, I've yeah. had in Boston. So. And it's pretty tough uh, out here yeah. to get a good, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I mean, it wasn't the same. It less creamy, which I actually like. Yeah. Uh, but it, was, it wasn't like wallpaper paste. No, yeah. no, it was. It was and what about the ambiance? Because the noise is, um, you know, you don't get as much noise because of the way the banquets are placed. Yeah. Right. The, the booths are uh, taller wooden petitions, uh, keeps the conversation cubicled in each little booth, yeah. so you hear the din, but you don't necessarily have to talk over someone else. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that um, salmon mocha color globe light. It's very 70s, but it's so warm, you know, you're standing outside, you just want to go inside and have these hearty seafood, you know, for dinner. It's just so wonderful. And the linen napkins and tablecloth. Like and nice and just, simple, you yeah, order right. off a chalkboard, you know, right. it's, yep. it's, right. it's very nice. Yep. So, so yeah. Jeffrey, why should people make the trek out to Richmond to go here. Terrific food. It's a great little neighborhood haunt. Uh, some of the best soups, soups that you'll find in the city. That's Annabelle? It. It's a place like you go to grandma's house to have a warm, home-cooked, um, great seafood dish. It's uh, definitely a neighborhood restaurant. Um, I highly recommend people go there once a week. <laughs> <laughs> once a week. <laughs> And uh, what about you? Well, I'm not going to go there once a week just because it's a little hard uh, to take the several buses I have to take to get out there, um, uh, especially with the with the kid. But uh, I will definitely go back, particularly uh, when a relative or friend with a car is visiting me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or when somebody can drive you. Jeffrey exactly. will take yeah. you. Oh, well, I'll pick you, you up. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Any excuse yeah. to go Sounds back. Good. I'm down with that. Yeah. All right, if you would like to go to Pacific Cafe, it's on Geary at 34th. The telephone number is 415-387-7091. It's open for dinner every day. They don't take reservations. And the average tab per person without drinks is around $30. Szechuan cooking is known for its hot and spicy flavors, and Annabelle says the dishes served at the little place on Solano in Albany reflect some of the best. You can find them at China Village. You know, I've been running the restaurant business for 30 years. Also, I'm the chef. People normally think the Chinese food it, uh, it's kind of a fast food. My mind is to try to turn around to let the people know so far it's a real Chinese food. But uh, most of the things that I'm interested in is the Sichuan cuisine. Our Sichuan cuisine is uh, different. You got to use uh, all in different kind of uh, ingredients, at least about the 20, 40 kinds of uh, ingredients that match up together. They have uh, like a clay pot, or saute type, or steam type things. Every dish is, uh, tastes different. 
some other customer they always try to look in what is the best or what is the good things. Those kind of customer come down, the first thing they work in, they asking what is the what is the special today, what is the best you have today. Each spice should be different taste. I'm still going back to the China to the well training. Get something new or traveling for find something else. Let our Bay Area customer see what is the real thing is. Now Annabelle, talk to us about Sichuan cooking. Sichuan cooking is famous, um, known for its hot and spicy dishes, but that's not all, all of it. It has multiple uh, combinations of different flavor. You have the sweet and sour, spicy and sour, um, the tender lychee flavor, uh, the fragrant, uh, they call it a fish uh, fragrant flavor. So um, even if you don't eat spicy food, you can get a few good Sichuan dishes out of the uh, menu, you know, going to a good Sichuan restaurant. That's why I recommend the China Village, because I think um, um, our Great Bay Area has hundreds of Chinese restaurants, and most of them are very good uh, in uh, Cantonese cooking. Right. But um, Sichuan dishes, Sichuan cuisine, it seems like a, a less known cuisine. Well, um, we all think of kung pao chicken. Or exactly, something. exactly. Kung right. pao chicken, or um, you know, hot and spicy, uh, the shredded um, pork or beef mm -hmm. dishes. Um, but those are not all. So um, the uh, China Village has very innovative, um, but they uh, still very authentic traditional Sichuan dishes. What are some of your picks? My favorite is that uh, the, they call it West Sichuan style fish fillet soup. Soup. When it comes out in the big soup terrain and covered with um, oil roasted pepper on top, so everybody just you know drop their jaws like how am I gonna eat this? And then they gotta um, skim off the um, dry chili, and then all you see is just uh, um, pure creamy chicken broth with all these fish fillet. Oh, in it. so you're it's making me hungry tender. already. There. Yeah. Mm. What about your experience at, at China Village? Uh, I liked it quite a bit. Um, we I, we went with friends and ordered a lot of stuff, and there was only only one dish I wasn't crazy about, but everybody else was. So, um, you know, uh, everything was had a lot of nice heat, but not so much that it overwhelmed anything. It was like yeah. layers of heat. It was really nice, really, and 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 differing from dish to dish. Um, a lot of uh, sort of clay pot or yeah. more sort of stewed, mm -hmm. liquidy kind of stuff. It, it was really great, and the onion. Um, the onion, fr that, thank you, the fry bread, is yeah. sesame fry bread is yeah. fantastic Very and good. a great, bread. Uh, a, a different experience than, you know, the typical rice is your starch. Exactly. Did it's you have different. a standout dish, Jeffrey, when you went? Oh, uh, well, we, we had a different experience. We, we mm. went by late afternoon. It was almost empty. There was one other couple in the place. Mm. Um, the one woman was folding napkins and says she was ready for our order at any time. She was, like, right on top of her game. Um, it was a large enough room, so I'm sure when it was full that the whole rattle of conversation would be running amok, but at the time, we just heard the buzz of the electric cooler and the aquarium tank, mm -hmm. so there was this constant buzz in the room, oh, and they said that the entrees wouldn't be prepared with MSG, but our entree, I had the, um, the lamb with cumin that the woman said was very popular. Uh, my sweetie had the uh, chicken chow fun, which didn't have much vegetables, didn't have much chicken, mm -hmm. but the, the noodles were nice and mm -hmm. the, the sauce was nice and they did some nice sauces. But after we left, we really started getting headaches. So we really started questioning whether or not there was MSG in it or mm -hmm. not, but. Or how um, much wine you had or what? <laughs> well, I had one glass of wine and I had a great little wine list yeah. for, for like a glass top China Chinese restaurant. They had right. a I had a, a Sterling sure. Merlot yeah. that mm -hmm. was just exceptional, yeah. right. and uh, the portions were huge. I wound up making an omelet the next morning with a yeah. little bit of the lamb, <laughs> and uh, it was all right. You so know. maybe just ask for preparation without MSG. Yes. And, and Annabelle, what would you have to say to Jeffrey in terms of did should he order something differently? Or? Yeah, I would say like chow fun, um, that kind of dish is a very typical uh, Cantonese style. But there are some, uh, if you can't handle the spiciness, they have a lot of good um, meat dish or clay pot, um, the beer duck, uh, the spicy uh, beef stew. You know, a few interesting dishes. I yeah. wish I would have gotten a little bit more adventurous with it. Right, I mean, right. they had over 218 I know, things on the menu. I know, it's a big menu. Yeah, uh, so you, where do we even begin? Start, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and we had a, a cold, really spicy rabbit, mm -hmm. and and then the duck. Uh, the duck you mentioned, I yeah. think, is what we got, and it was just phenomenal. That yeah. was uh, that, and the and the the peanut tofu appetizer were the standouts yeah. for me, and it was overall, it was really good. Yeah. If you're a vegetarian, 
and yes. a lot of people obviously are in the Bay Area. Yeah. Is this a good spot to go? Yeah, there are a lot of dishes. Um, now, if you're vegetarian, if you like tofu, they have a variation of different dishes made of tofu and other vegetables, and it's equally very tasty. Uh, it can make very spicy or mild. I was a little disappointed with with the sh with the uh, rice because it was very fluffy. Yeah, and next time ask hard. them for a small rice bowl. It's a lot easier than the plate. And then you can scoop. Okay. I have a hard time because I have ah. to use a fork if I eating the long grain rice in a plate because it's really fluffy for chopsticks to pick yeah. up. But that's ah. true. Yeah. So we okay. just shuffle like little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, um, yes. tell people why they should go and make a trip to Albany if they don't live in the East Bay. Add some good spice to a dining experience. You know, this is if you like spicy or even you don't like spicy, try some new dishes. You know, this is. Uh, a uh, ch Chinese restaurant with different flair. It's uh, totally different from the hot and sour, you know, soup and the sweet and sour pork. So try, give it a try. You will like it. I, and I have to warn you, it's uh, very addictive. <laughs> <laughs> you go all the time. And Jeremy, did you feel like this was a good value for you? Yeah, absolutely. It was uh, it was the the most affordable of, of the places uh, we visited for for Czech please, and it was um, it was wholly enjoyable and, yeah. and kind of an adventure and. Like I said, a lot of great spice and, and a couple real standout dishes and, and good service. Yeah. And would you go back, Jeff, what um, do you think? I personally wouldn't, just simply on the MSG factor. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of my friends are very San Francentric that mm -hmm. never leave the city for any reason. And going out to Albany, getting out from under the fog, going someplace different, trying something different. And there's a little ice cream place down the street. Yeah. And it, you know, it's a great little neighborhood, great little yeah. restaurant. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know. I don't know if I'd recommend the restaurant, personally. However, I wouldn't say it was a bad restaurant. All right. Well, China Village is on Solano in Albany. The telephone number is 510-525-2285. It's open every day for lunch and dinner with dim sum on weekends. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $15. Interesting breads start the meal at this small plates restaurant where Jeremy has been going since it opened. It is small and contemporary with an open kitchen. It's on Fillmore Street in San Francisco and it's called Chez Nou. Chez Nou is a small plate concept. It's a very selfish concept. It's, uh, it's the opportunity to, uh, to taste a lot of different dishes in a very short period of time based on the tasting menu in a three or four star uh, restaurant. It allows people to have a different uh, taste of different dishes. Um, it could be sharing one, but you don't have to. Actually, I, I don't like to share. So when I go to any small plate restaurant, I order what I like, and I order many of the small plates or many of the dishes. At Chez Nous, there is like two or three different ingredients per dish, not that much more. Otherwise, at the end of the meal, it's a little bit overwhelming. Today, it's all about fresh ingredients. It's not about technique anymore. And I think at Chez Nous, it's fresh ingredients, but it's also technique. Okay, so thank you to the farmers, but also thank you to the chef uh, as well, you know, to make the, the food very interesting. Okay, Jeremy, it gets a bit crowded at Chez Nou, huh? Is there a trick to getting in? Uh, yeah, you know, within the last, um, I think within the last two years, they started offering limited reservations. Uh, when they opened their first few years, no reservations at all, but now, call ahead, it'll, uh, it'll work out for you. Do you have a favorite uh, dishes, I should say, because they're small yeah. plates, yeah. so Almost. you order it. Almost every time I go, I get the, the fish soup, which I think is just incredible. It's, it's really hearty and flavorful, and it's yeah. got a nice little spice at the end, kind of licorice-y. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I almost always get the Greek spreads as well, which I really enjoy. I didn't on this visit, but um, that's just because I was overruled. We, we went with a few people. <laughs> so. <laughs> but it's always noshing. Now, yeah. um, the chef and, and owner, Pascal Rigo, is a, is a baker, really, by trade. Did yeah. you have the bread when you uh, get the, the bread? artisan breads at the beginning. Knockout, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy. A few raisins here and there. 
Very nice. Yeah, and um, I don't think you can get that kind of bread anywhere else. But that's the only place I taste it. It's a signature it. bread for yeah. each restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's great. It's almost like a German pretzel, yeah. but, but with a French <laughs> crunchy, crust. Chewy. That's right. Yeah, that's right. The did best. you have? Um, what did you have? I, mean, um, I had the lamb, mm -hmm. and my sweetie had the uh, the beef, uh, the Kobe, Kobe beef, beef yeah. and it was the first time she had ever even heard of Kobe, Kobe beef, beef. And I was like, best. oh, you should try the Kobe beef. Yeah, it was buttery. Mm -hmm. It was sweet. It was knockout. It was, yeah. it rocked. Right. Straight up. Right. Uh, the lamb was a little bit more hit or miss. It was. Uh, That's one I of their signature a, dishes with the lavender with salt. With the lavender yeah. salt. The mm -hmm. lavender salt was lavender good. Salt. I liked it. It was the first time I ever came across lavender salt, and I tried it, and it was uh, a nice compliment. Uh, I thought that the cut wasn't uh, like a rack of lamb cut. It right. was like a, a steak of lamb. There was. It was a small portion, but then half the portion when you're done was gristle and bone. Right. So it was a little hard to get to the sweet spots and everything else. Now, what did you have when you went? I love that fish soup. It reminds me of the fish soup we have in Paris twice in a row. It was so great, and especially the couton and then the, you know, the texture. It's you know silky smooth soup with the crunchy couton, just the perfect one. And I love the gnocchi. That's the yeah. best oh, gnocchi yeah. ever tasted. Oh, it was you know fluffy. Um, the cream sauce, the cream pesto sauce, was well balanced, not overwhelmingly uh, sweet or you know heavy. And it's a little al dente. I think that's the best gnocchi I ever had. Did Pretty you go yeah. with a big group? No, I just with my husband, two of us. When first thought, you know, these a few dishes, we probably would still be hungry. But by the time we finished. We ordered, um, including the soup, about seven dishes. Mm -hmm. We were so full, but right. got to try the dessert. <laughs> um, dessert, I was a little disappointed. Coffee, I was a little oh, disappointed. Yeah. They had okay. but, but some of the some of the colors of the palette were very good. All right, yeah. dessert. He brought up dessert, so we'll go there. Dessert, you were saying, wait, dessert, dessert. Dessert, the uh, canale, I the think. Canale, the yeah, the it's canale, a, that's the a signature dessert. Mm -hmm. It's chewy, it's very good. But I think uh, the sauce, the, the vanilla cream sauce is slightly oversweet. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and those are very dense and chewy yeah, it's very little good. cakes very good. almost. Yeah. And I, I would disagree with you on the coffee. I think they have quite good coffee. Um, it's, I love it's the coffee cups. The little <laughs> earthenware. And, but, but our Presentation, our, you got to give points for oh presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll give it that. But but when it came, it was warm. Yeah, it was I have the same thing. It came out of a yeah. thermos. It wasn't yeah. straight out of an espresso thing. And when I added cream, it just went gray. Yeah. Which oh, to me, sure. when you yeah. add cream, you want to see the clouds and you want to see the oil. And when it turns gray, I'm like, oh. Yeah, I, yeah, I would feel the same hot. way. That's not typical of my experience there. Coffee is yeah. very important to me. It's, it, it can make or break a dinner experience, and yeah. I, I, I almost feel like I have to apologize for that. <laughs> uh, That's all right. And, and the, the coffee, yeah, I agree with so you. It was oh a little yeah. warm. It's, it should be hot. Right. But, you know, minor Absolutely. details. What about noise level? And it yeah. Yeah. It's it's yeah, it's crowded. It was it's loud. Loud. I couldn't, we had to, like, but raise our voice to hear yeah. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, the tables were 17 inches <laughs> wide, <laughs> so they're not, not very. That I'm not is, it, very is that up to code? I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> I, I know how wide my forearm right, is. Right. And but I was the good like, thing is, a forearm and two fingers, and I was like, yeah. well, okay. But when they serve the dishes, they come two at a time. It's not like a okay, you order six, That's boom, right. everything right. on the same time. They really, cramped. and I love the idea that actually they serve the Kobe beef with the, um, the pot free, the French fry together. So when the time we had the um, you know finished the beef, we used the French fry to soak up all the you know sauces right. it's right. like a this is perfect and, and but one minor thing though when the dishes um you know served by different people so they don't announce it um the dishes mm. always you know <laughs> our our waitress was great it was very sweet and then she explains it and but um some other people when they serve it they just leave it on the table but i think it's just such nice dishes they need a little fanfare it's just they a function of how busy they exactly, are exactly right. exactly it's, it's, it's a team it's of like here you go yeah. Boom, next. yeah exactly you Boom, need to make an announcement it's just Boom, so beautiful you just you know? keep your little menu so you can match it up with <laughs> exactly your, with your menu yeah right. <laughs> all right, right jeremy great. this is your restaurant so um, well, tell people why they should visit Shenu. Well, I'll, I'll regret it if I don't mention uh, the goat cheese stuffed squash mm -hmm. blossoms, which were awesome. Oh, yeah. But uh, everything across the board, it tends to be very high quality there. You get a lot of uh, familiar stuff with slight tweaks. And um, it, it's, just, it's just consistently good. And if, if you like sort of a metropolitan restaurant with a lot of hustle and bustle mm -hmm. and, and good people and good flow, it, it's a good place to go. And I, I enjoy it quite a bit. All right, Annabelle? Yeah, we enjoyed it very much, even though it's crowded, but, you know, because the uh, two-level, you know, building, it's really, you know, make you feel like it's it's fun, it's lively, and then we loved every dish we have, even though there's some, you know, minor details that can improve, but it's a great place to have uh, small plates. All right, yeah. Jeffrey. 
And even though it should be a French restaurant, I've really got the feeling of a metropolitan Manhattan, very boisterous, boisterous type of place. And uh, I just would wish the coffee was better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next time. Yeah. <laughs> just got right. to go back. If you would like to try Chez Nu, it's on Fillmore at Pine in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-441-8044. It's open every day for lunch and dinner with brunch on weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $18. Well, I want to thank all of you. Terrific show this week, although there were some differences of opinions. Not for Jeffrey's Pacific Cafe, though. It's, <laughs> it's traditional seafood fared well with everyone, as did Jeremy's choice of Chez Nu in San Francisco. The only disappointment there seems to have been the coffee and the creme brulee. Finally, China Village, <laughs> beloved by Annabelle, was found to be an adventure for Jeremy, who, although not every dish was to his liking, he enjoyed the experience while Jeffrey was discouraged by the MSG included in the ingredients. This concludes another show, and don't forget that if you missed anything, you can view this and all the other shows online or via podcast. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. 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 Hoopla. 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 This show is available in high definition, on demand, and via podcast. For additional information on the restaurants featured, to comment, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash check please. A KQED television production.